Welcome to the Professor Slots Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. John Friedel, but please call me John. I help slots enthusiasts improve their gambling performance with next level tactics and strategies. Want to accelerate your slots journey, be more profitable, understand casinos better, take advantage of them? I have over a decade of experience working with slots enthusiasts just like you, so you're in the right place. In case you missed it, on my last episode, I went over top 10 ways to know if a slot machine is hot or cold and Illinois slots. I hope you enjoyed listening to my last episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Today's episode number 186 includes a review of the slots industry in Indiana later in the episode, but I'll begin for you today with what you need to know about my new online course, Slots Labs, with personalized guidance to playing slots smarter. I've been experimenting with new or advanced material in a group coaching program called Slots Labs. It's a process that I've specifically designed to grow your slots play beyond where my 30 days to play slots smarter and win leaves off. It's a class of 20 participants and there are a few openings left. Because this is my very first time to run the program, I've invited only a very short list of people, those on the wait list, to go through it and help me test it. However, due to the structure of the course, I can only take 20 people total. A spouse or significant other who also plays slots with you is totally fine to join too. I sent out that offer to the wait list a little while ago. Unfortunately, according to my email server, only about one third of them read the email. Welcome to email marketing and trying to respond to those that specifically asked me told about this program. I'm sorry I didn't get through to you by email, but thank you for those who registered. We have a great group already, but there are a few spots left open at this exact moment. There are five, so I'm making this offer to you. Once we reach 20 course participants in total, I'll shut down registration for this discounted first offering, and that will be that. So let me tell you about it so you can decide. When? We'll meet every Monday for one hour from 5 to 6 Eastern in a Zoom call. It'll last for six weeks. Our first meeting is January 9th and our last meeting is February 13th, just before Valentine's Day. I chose that time to avoid the holidays that are upon us because we are all busy with family, but early January through February will be a great time to prepare for better odds in late February, March, and afterward. So that's my reasoning for when to hold this first class of 20 participants. Basically, the course starts through most casinos' downtime from January through Valentine's Day to give you the opportunity to prepare for returning to slots when the casino's season begins after the course is over. Format. We'll be combining slot strategy training with understanding your casino well in a mastermind format. I'm curious to see how it flows. Our weekly meeting will be an interactive training and discussion around a topic. There are also assignments from me and recommended reading to do each week that will help you take what you've learned about growing your gambling performance during our meeting and implement it in your slots play. We'll interact and report on those assignments throughout the week inside a private online community. To answer a question from the waitlist, these assignments are not you spending bankroll playing slots. I mean, if you spot an early opportunity, sure, go ahead. I won't be asking you to ignore it, but the assignments will not require spending money playing slots at your casinos. Even going to the casino during the class is somewhat optional. Topics. While we will be covering a lot of ground, I'm, I'm curious to hear if it's too much, here's some of the topics we'll be diving into. The skills you need to succeed at playing slots. Mapping your gameplay to success with a practical strategic model. Steps to create and test your methods so they don't fall flat at your casino. Create a strategic plan for your casino for predictable gambling revenue. Managing finances and systems for long-term growth. A process for planning future growth and fixing current problems at the same time. Steps for scaling your slots wins and revenue with a partner or spouse. Cost. Eventually, this product will cost several thousand dollars, but in exchange for your feedback and ideas as I test this process and material, it's only $497 for this alpha test. I'd also like to request that you be willing to provide any testimonials at the end about your experience in this process and the results it generates for your slots play. I've added a three easy monthly payments option at $179.50 each using a debit credit card only, in addition to the $497 one-time payment using PayPal or a debit credit card. Switch to your preference at sign up. I know the holiday season is here already, but the second and third monthly payment may be more accommodating. I hope this helps. The second course will cost at least $500 more, that is to say at least $997 per registrant. And of course, spouses and significant others will be able to attend along with the registrant. 
Register. If you are interested in committing about five to six hours a week to grow your slots play performance at your favorite casinos, you can register at professorslots.com slash SL. The deadline to register is when the last few openings are filled and the class reaches 20 participants. If you've taken 30 days to play slots smarter and win, then you know the value of what I teach. If you register too late and the course is full, you'll eventually be able to register for the second course offered for $997, at least for $997. That's the plan anyway. Again, the maximum class size is 20 registrants. I made an exclusive offer to the waitlist, gave them a few days to decide, same with my 30 days course participants, and now I'm giving you this invitation for the last few openings. Don't let others take your spot from you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks. I'm excited to hopefully hang out with you for six weeks and help you grow a thriving slots performance at not only your local casino, but also at other casinos for more amazing wins than you've ever experienced before. I look forward to seeing you in the course. Again, thanks to those who have already signed up. I'm so looking forward to it. In the next segment of the show, I provide a brief overview of the current state of gambling in a U.S. state, territory, or the federal district, emphasizing the gaming industry for slots enthusiasts. Let's go over Indiana's gaming industry for playing slots. Indiana slot machine casino gambling consists of 14 commercial casinos, two of which are proposed casinos, as well as one tribal casino. The minimum legal gambling age in Indiana depends upon the gambling activity. For casinos, poker rooms, and bingo, it's 21. For the lottery and paramutual wagering, it's 18. Indiana's 1851 Constitution banned lotteries, historically interpreted by courts to mean all gambling. In 1988, Indiana approved a constitutional amendment removing this ban. Within months, cities with economic difficulties had casino proposals, including 10 riverboat casinos. In 2007, Indiana allowed horse tracks to have as many as 2,000 electronic gaming machines. Further, the state legislature approved land-based casinos in 2015 and allowed riverboat casinos to move into a land-based casino facility if located on their current property. The state of Indiana has a federally recognized American Indian tribe. In 2015, the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians successfully negotiated a tribal state compact subsequently approved by the U.S. Department of Interior. By the compact's terms, the tribal casino could only have Class II bingo-style gaming machines. In 2018, the tribe opened a casino in South Bend. Next up is a usually short statement about slot machine private ownership, which I have included in case you live in this U.S. state and are considering owning a slot machine. Here it is. It is legal to own a slot machine privately in Indiana if it is 40 years old or older. The Indiana Gaming Commission, IGC, regulates gaming in Indiana. The IGC has its Gaming Control Division as a law enforcement arm with a primary role to investigate illegal gambling. Enforcement of illegal gambling at bars and taverns is by the Indiana Alcohol and Tobacco Commission. Indiana's two other gaming commissions regulate the Hoosier Lottery and Indiana Horse Racing. In this section, I'll discuss Indiana gambling establishments. Indiana has 14 commercial casinos, including two proposed casinos and one American Indian tribal casino. The largest casino in Indiana is Horseshoe Hammond. The second largest casino is Hollywood Casino Lawrenceburg. Indiana has 14 commercial casinos, including two proposed casinos in Terre Haute. Indiana's tribal casino is Four Winds Casino, South Bend, 150 miles north of Indianapolis, directly east of Chicago, on the border to Michigan. It offers 1,800 Class II competition-style gaming machines alongside live poker tables. Unique to Indiana, the table game of poker is a skill-based game and therefore just another Class II game as players bet against each other and aren't betting against the house or casino. As usual, when there are too many casinos to mention here, a complete list along with a casino map are on my webpage for the state at professorslots.com in. As an alternative to enjoying Indiana slot machine casino gambling, consider exploring casino options in a nearby state. Bordering Indiana is to the north, Michigan, to the east, Ohio, to the south, Kentucky, and to the west, Illinois. To visit any of my articles on these U.S. states, simply visit professorslots.com followed by its two-letter postal designation. For example, my Michigan slots article is available at professorslots.com slash mi. Indiana has no theoretical payout limits. However, monthly return statistics are publicly available for commercial casinos. For details on return statistics, see my Indiana Slots Return to Player article. I'm so sorry I am unable to show you the player win percent graphs here. 
Neither theoretical payout nor return statistics are available for Indiana's tribal casino. The IGC offers comprehensive annual reports on all aspects of legal gaming in Indiana. In summary, Indiana slot machine casino gambling consists of 14 commercial casinos, including two proposed commercial casinos and a tribal casino with Class II bingo-style gaming machines. The next episode of the Professor Slots podcast will include another slots-related topic and a review of the slots industry in Iowa. Next up is bonus audio in this episode from my initial rendition during a prior live stream of today's topic, followed by lots of slots questions and answers. Enjoy. Okay, so uh, questions, questions, questions. Uh, let's let's go through the questions and uh, see where we are at. I'll start at the top and see what I missed anything. Uh, Kevin H is here, um, and this is before the live stream was actually on. Uh, Dilrod is on a bus on his way to Mystic Lake in Minnesota. Uh, Kevin H uh, goes to Mystic now and then. I told them, hey, you two should talk. This is all pre-show stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, uh, Dilrod says, uh, I'm on the bus. <laughs> they have, I, I, I had said, um, uh, you know, eyes on the road, buddy, eyes on the road. Uh, but he said, I'm on the bus. <laughs> they have a free bus that goes there every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, hey, <laughs> so you can basically every day I have a live stream. Wonderful. Um, and and it's lots of fun. One of my moderators says, "Time for learning and fun." Uh, hello to everybody. Hi, hi, it's lots of fun. Um, and uh, be sure to like this live stream, please. Uh, it helps um, YouTube algorithm. It's kind of almost like a, a central server at a at a casino. You know, trying to work the system, uh, take advantage of it. Uh, and um, uh, so, if you like the if you like this video, more people will show up before the end. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, hello, hello. Uh, so, uh, so, so, um, uh, <laughs> uh, Flip, uh, if you're watching this now or later, Camilla, it, what is that little emoji? It looks like you're blowing him a kiss. <laughs> and Serenity uh, um, uh, says, um, Flip is our hero. Yes, um, Flip sent a $300 donation because this morning he won um, a $28,400 jackpot using a combination of my strategies. So, hey, if you, if you, you know, take my, my $97 course and you make enough money to pay for the $500 course, the $497 course, you know, this is you pay as you go, pay as you go. Um, I'd use my methods the, where I describe them free and, and, you know, pay to learn more. This is how we learn. Um, we invest in our learning as uh, Magpie said in her donation, winners invest in learning. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, Charles, you know, congrats. I absolutely congratulate Flip. Uh, way to go, Flip. Um, and uh, Les Leslie from Oregon says, uh, when is Flip going to do an interview? He and I discussed it extensively, went over uh, the reasons. Um, I respect his decision. He has decided to not do a live stream. Um, uh, he uh, prefers to remain anonymous. Uh, and uh, I can't blame them. Uh, I, I'm, I'm fully in support of that decision. So if you've been on the live streams, he said several things over the last couple of weeks, uh, which should be everything that you want to know. Uh, and <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, so Flip has uh, said no, and at my request, I, I asked him, and I am perfectly comfortable with that decision. Um, and, uh, you know, let's move forward. Uh, Cyber Wolf says, good afternoon, Professor Slots. Uh, great to see you here. Um, Cyber Wolf, uh, great questions you've asked. Uh, Camilla, uh, give cats a cat tree with uh, with Nip. Hey, <laughs> you know, don't I get a Christmas tree myself? I was thinking about getting some lights out on the deck. Uh, yeah. Uh, Camilla says, December 29th was my first day in casino after a year away. I know you're in Canada. I know there's been problems with the border. I know that the casinos in Canada have been uh, doing their thing. Um, and you're armed with an arsenal of strategies. I bet. I bet. Yeah, good luck. Um, and you have, do you, uh, are, do you have your um, a lockable wallet? I think you said you had ordered one. Um, 
Um, yeah, it w- uh, and, and so, uh, Serena sees this is just chat back and forth. Uh, says good luck to Camilla. Will be challenging after that much time away from the candy store. <laughs> uh, I I I enjoy time off. I mean, we talked about this in past live streams um, of taking a break. And sometimes you take a break and you come back and you're and and maybe you're learning something while you're gone, uh, or just kind of you notice changes that took place while you were gone that you were like huh, how long have they been doing that? And these are all good things. Um, yeah, so uh, a very interesting time. Uh, good luck, Camilla. Question for Becky. First question. I got a bonus and the lady next to me got a bonus at the same time. I watched our bonus rounds and they were exactly the same. Same wins in the bonus and we won exactly the same amount. How? That's fascinating. I, I had seen uh, someone shared a picture with me. I think it was my moderator, uh, Flip, uh, who who uh, it was it, the two screens and when it was he he took a picture of uh, them being identical uh, so uh, machines can i mean how do i put this everybody outside of my audience uh, everybody thinks slot machines are just doing exactly what they're going to do uh, and that it's all just a running machine, right? That it's it does this, then does that, then does this. And I talk about how, no, 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 that's, that's not how slot machines function. That's not how they're meant to work. But you can have exceptions. You can have, um, uh, you can have slot technicians who don't know a darn thing. I mean, wh- why do they know anything on the job training? And early in the job, <laughs> they don't have a lot of training. <laughs> uh, and if they aren't a slot attendant, uh, slot tech anymore, then they stopped learning um, with very few exceptions. So what's happened here is the machine has been up, two machines side by side were just set up the way they came in, or they were both set up the same exact way. Uh, and they're identical. Uh, it's laziness. It's a mistake. Uh, it is possible. Uh, and that's something that is very rare. Only two times have I ever seen that myself uh, and uh, or even heard of it myself. Uh, and this is one of them. So, yeah. Yeah, this is this is um, I, I think it's fascinating when we see these things because then it proves the other it proves the existence of what actually happens when you see it missing. I went to Delta Downs last year. Was it last year or the year before? Uh, last year? Uh, any case, I went to Delta Downs, and in April, uh, that last year, definitely, uh, they had remodeled. But I was there before that, and I walked through it, and I'm like, I wish, I wish other people could see this. This is such a dead casino. It is all straight lines. There's no slot machines capping the end of rows. There's a plant blocking the, the view into the high limit room. This is where the casino slot manager didn't do anything. It's just like, do your job. Uh, and they and they didn't. So that is, you know, it it wasn't a place to win, but it was a I mean, I wish people could see what's at their casino and then compare it to like when it doesn't happen. So you have seen uh, when two identical things happen, and now you know that can happen, that, and that all the other times that you've played doesn't happen. Uh, and this is this is an insight. This is you know you're starting to peer behind the curtain of what's happening at casinos. Good for you. Oh yes, uh, uh, Roberto. That is that is an excellent suggestion. Uh, last night I, I work long days. Last night I got a low. Um, a anybody do audio? I got a unidirectional microphone to put in front of my face that hangs in my ear, and it's a Bluetooth that'll go into my recorder so that I can make commentary during the live streams. Uh, I tried to do the best I could on my first demos and the, the uh, six, three o'clock and six o'clock, that's PM. Um, so six o'clock 
Eastern and nine o'clock Eastern that I, uh, videos I have a group of 24 of them uh, that are coming out. You know, that, those are just coming out. Um, and those are my first. And the improvement I want to make is lower the background noise and just do a running commentary. You're absolutely right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and so going forward, you will see that. Yeah, uh, except for those things that I've already uploaded and they're, they're already coming out. And that's, I think I'm, I think I'm up to 17 out of 24 of, those, of that first round at Atlantis Casino demonstrating my five spin method. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have other suggestions on improvement, um, you know, please let me know. I'm, I'm, it's a learning process. I don't know, I don't know if anybody, uh, any other slots channel that actually demonstrates their strategies, partly because they don't have strategies <laughs> and deny it even exists. Um, and so these demos, um, you know, I want to get better at them. Uh, and uh, yeah, great. Yeah. Keep the suggestions coming. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, and question from Flip. Hey, Flip. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, uh, and question, I rarely, he says, I rarely do backup spins after hitting a hand pay, but my wife does them all the time and gets returns 50% of the time. Your thoughts, preferences. Um, I never, I, I, when I was winning hand pay after hand pay, it was 54 in six weeks uh, and less than you. <laughs> and I was like, you know, at first I was like, no, but then I started thinking through you know, it seems like central waste. Uh, and, and then I was thinking through it and I'm like, you know, there might be something to this. Um, at, you know, if, if the win is a lightning strike, uh, then it, then it's, uh, you know, it, that's it. You just get the one lightning strike, but people have been hit by multiple lightning strikes one after the other. And, I'm, and I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, uh, as long as it doesn't interfere with the preserving gains method that the player has, um, you know, because putting all the money back into in the hopes of winning again is a terrible, terrible thing. It's a terrible feeling to have that. But if you feel like you could, you know, regularly make another bet to do a backup spin after you win a hand pay, eh, there, there, there's reasons for that. But if you, if you are already running to get out the casino because that is something you need to focus on, uh, or like for you, if that you know you're you're there from for two hours from this time to that time, uh, and then if it's past that time, get out, get out, get out. But it's great to hear that your wife is getting them returns fifty percent of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so, uh, it do it. If it doesn't like cause you to want to stay forever, because that is worse. Um, I hope that helps. Thing. I hope that helps. Uh, Serena sees I've gotten back to back hand pays on the same machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was looking at the uh, yes, yes, and. It is, uh, and Chuck has an opinion. You know, it's great. This is this this is almost almost a group coaching program uh, where Chuck says, "I I do two backup spins. It rarely hits, but it's a real thrill when it happens." Yeah, yeah. And people are wow, and uh, and uh, Camilla says, "I hope to take the original course in the new year." Yep, yep. There's improvement. There's improvements coming to the uh, new course, the the thirty days course. Uh, it's not really improvement in the content. There's a few tweaks and things, the things that have happened since I, I last put out an update uh, this year, earlier this year. Um, what I want to do is add a visual component, kind of like the um, the slides that I was just presenting, uh, and this, you know that would look more like this and just bullet points because many people learn from, from having bullet points. Uh, and, uh, that's, that's something that I want to add to help people learn uh, in the course and make a few adjustments here and there. Um, I've changed the name of my, <laughs> and, and I've changed the name of my, um, 
uh, Slots IQ membership group. It was Slots Enthusiast Growth Network, which was S-G-M-S-E-G-N. And it was all such a mouthful. And so I asked members of the Slots IQ membership, what would you like to be called? And they said, well, it's something IQ. And I'm like, Slots IQ? And, they're, and, and it's something like that. That's how the conversation went. So I took a couple of their ideas and combined them. And um, and so uh, if you uh, um, if you take slots IQ and and part of the conversation was take the first two letters of slots SL and then IQ and then add ER uh, members of the group are slickers. <laughs> Which doesn't get a lot of use, but uh, um, you know they're, they're slickers, yeah. And and the rest of you are slots enthusiasts. Um, could I get that link again? Yes, I will uh, share that link again uh, for you. If you go to, um, uh, I'll do that now. There you are. Uh, and if you are interested in all of my courses, I don't want to overwhelm anybody here. But if I, I'll, I'll show you the screen. So let me share my. Um, Share my screen. Come on, guys. Don't make a racket. Um, uh, and okay, so now he's in the in, now he's into the catnip. Uh, there he is, and he's playing with the catnip uh, and the cell. Uh, but if yeah, there we go. Uh, and so if you go to professorslots.com, uh, uh, you can choose courses. At professorslots.com and you'll see my first my full list so that's all three all four of my courses including this latest one uh, and uh, uh, and one of them is free if you are interested in seeing just you know how I teach courses online courses uh, you can uh, you know get a get a very short course there a mini course really uh, and for free and uh, that's how I that's how I roll. So when in the um, uh, slots labs, uh, there is an option here and you can switch over to the full price or you can choose the three monthly payments. And there's descriptions here, uh, countdown timer to when the class starts. Um, what I'll be doing is the first meeting will be on January 9th, but on January 2nd, maybe a little bit before, I'll be sending out notes to the people who subscribed about uh, introducing yourself and some other things that we'll be doing. So those are the pricing options. Bonus material uh, will be the re record keeping templates. Uh, there's also my 30 days to play slot smarter and win. Uh, it comes free with the course. Uh, and uh, unless you've already taken it, uh, and uh, but, but it is a requirement. Um, I guess in college terms, we'd say it's a prerequisite. Uh, and then the video strategy calls is going to be part of that as well. Um, and uh, what to watch out for, what's be prepared for what it, it, it involves. Um, it's you know five to six hours a week, not for the faint of heart. Uh, and that is the description there, which you can see for yourself and you can get started by clicking the, it's a pre-order now because I'm uh, checking out to see if there's interest. Yeah. And uh, so far it looks good. Yeah. Uh, and Jason, I don't know if that's a question, but uh, I started, uh, Jason says, I started betting on the $1 denomination and denomination and started winning a whole lot more. Um, just off the top of my head, uh, were you playing paying penny slots? Because if you go to, um, you know, the six st U.S. states that offer return to returns by slot machine denomination, you can see that outside of like February 2021 in one of the city's frontier towns in Oklahoma, uh, except for that one month and that one town and that, uh, and that one monthly return, um, penny slots have the worst odds. Now, there's so many penny slots that uh, that uh, there's there's, um, you know, you can find the good ones, uh, uh, but uh, on average, they're the worst, which means that many of those those many penny machines, many of them actually have worse odds than the returns show. Uh, and so I am not surprised at all that you picked a denomination other than penny machines and had a better return. Yeah. Now, just understand that it's a myth that when you have 
uh, that the return improves as you uh, uh, go up in denomination. Uh, that's that's a complete mathematical under, misunderstanding. The odds don't improve. How much you win in any particular win improves, but you win less often. So if, um, your your return is less. Uh, and it's all very easy to find. They're very easy to look at it in the six states that have uh, slot machines by um, uh, slot machine returns by by denomination, and it, it just isn't in order. Um, but people say, "Well, I can't win as much on a on a on a machine where I'm not betting as much." Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean you're going to um, make a profit. Uh, you know, you're looking to make a thirty to fifty percent profit. That's reasonable if you work hard and use my techniques and study. Um, and and you know, people are like, "But uh, you know, I." I spent a lot more money than I ever did, and then I won money. And I'm like, did you, did you make a profit? Because you know that's anyway. It's it's a math math thing. Yeah. Uh, have, <laughs> uh, Greenwood, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome. We have uh, several people that come in from the UK. Um, uh, this goes out to all in English speaking countries and non uh, non English as well. Uh, welcome. Uh, good afternoon. Watched all your videos and learned a lot. Good. I'm glad. Only started playing slots a few weeks ago, but there's many newcomers. Uh, uh, and as I used to uh, use to blackjack, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really a shame what's happening to blackjack with uh, uh, infinite card count, uh, infinite um, shufflers and stuff. It's just like, but okay. Uh, currently on a heater <laughs> with nine out of 10 wins. Uh, great info and great info from your, your vid, vid, vids. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm, and congratulations. Uh, you're, I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, great, great, great. Uh, and Tina has a question. I've seen people leave their machine for a period of time and come back to play. Uh, is there a rule that the machine is abandoned or anyone can play on it? Is it left for, uh, for a period of time? Yes. Um, well, Every casino is different. Some casinos don't let anybody lock the machine to, you know, tilt up the chair if it's not bolted to the ground. To, um, uh, you know, make that option to talk to a slot attendant to to, to lock it. Um, I, I've been to casinos where you have to call a slot attendant. They will lock the machine, which will only unlock if the player who they locked it for puts their player's card back in. That's the only time it'll unlock or after 15 minutes. So if they have to go to the restroom, better be back in within 15 minutes because that's what's said. So I, I, I like that. I like the idea that they would lock the machine, but I don't like the idea that it's like, okay, uh, I guess we're not going to be making any money on that machine for the next three days until somebody comes along and unlocks it. No. Uh, so casinos make a lot of money um, uh, on slot machines every day, profit. And it being locked is not to their benefit. Um, but um, so, yeah, it's casino by casino and what other rules. And you can either call them, go to the website, call their number and say, what's your policy? Uh, and maybe if you can find out the policy for like a horseshoe, then you might know what the policy is for any Caesars property. Uh, MGMs, you know, could be very similar uh, for all of those that should be. It's sort of like a corporate rule. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, and, and so see what your casino does. Uh, I think there's poor choices out there <laughs> that casinos make. Uh, and, and so it's, it's nothing like a federal law or, you know, it, it I would hope that they would have it for like at Caesars properties, all Caesars properties, but it might be the general manager of the casino's decision based on, you know, a lot of casinos are purchased from prior owners, uh, that, not tribal casinos, but the commercial casinos often get bought and bought and bought again. Uh, and, and that's actually the business plan for some casinos. That certainly was true for the downtown Cincinnati casino. Uh, first it was Horseshoe, then it was uh, Jack. Uh, and then <clears throat> if you haven't heard of that, it's, it's Michigan casinos, uh, a couple of them in Detroit and Cleveland. Uh, and, and then it's now a hard rock. 
And so just, it, it, it's only been open like nine years and it's got three on its third owner. Uh, so if there was a policy on the prior owner, Caesars might very well say it's not a universal thing at all, Caesars, but rather what we do here. Casino by casino. And uh, Hakeem says, question, can you get yours hand pays in check form? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get part of your hand pay in check form. Uh, one of the questions that I've gotten, um, you can get all of it in check form. Uh, you, you can even fold it up and put it into uh, a lockbox, even though, you know, it's a, a check form is pretty safe. But, you know, you could take it to the cashier and they might be able to cash your own check. And so it's uh, that's that's one way to get out of the casino. Um, uh, and uh, somebody asked me, can I get my slots jackpot in free play? And this is a way to get out of the taxes because free play isn't money. Uh, so, and I, when I won the car, when I won a car, they offered me a $40,000 cash option in free play. In which case, free play is has no has no monetary value, uh, and I wouldn't have had to pay any taxes on it. Except if I'd used it and I won money, then that I would pay taxes on that. Uh, and but that casino, my decision was no. Even though it was like, I tried to answer all the questions in advance. If I won a car, and then I did win a car, uh, and <laughs> uh, so all I had to do was remember the answer instead of think with my hands shaking, <laughs> uh, because that's the kind of experience it was. And they really pushed the free play; they really pushed it. Uh, and I and I I had not expected that answer, but because I had no, figured out the answers to the questions I knew they would ask if I won, uh, I was I had enough brain capacity left over to say no, because I had free play at that casino and I never won anything with free play at that casino. I'm like, I'm not getting $40,000 in free play uh, because I'll probably get zero, you know? Uh, yeah, give me the cash. And I got half of it in check. I, I said, please give me the whole thing uh, in, in, in $100 bills for, for $10,000 bundles. I like those little bands. Um, and uh, I sort of collect them. <laughs> it's a thing I do. Uh, someday I'll put them, link them together and put them around my Christmas tree. And my cat, my cats will eat, probably eat them. Uh, that's that's the sort of thing that they've been doing lately. But um, <laughs> getting into my stuff. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, that uh, they, they didn't give me $40,000 in cash. So they, they said, well, we can't. And I'm like, really? And, and, and why don't we uh, give you half of it in check? And I'm like, okay. And Serenity's uh, last year, year before, in our house, we say could have been, could have been Tuesday. Okay. Uh, question from Jason. Uh, let's let's see what your question is. Uh, I started betting a one dollar denomination instead of oh instead of ten cents. Okay, and started to win more, just not just bigger payouts, which is what I was talking about, but having uh, left since I it's it, it uh, but haven't left since. I think you mean haven't left since you started it. Um, uh, you know, great. Now understand that it might just be the machine that you're playing that has the better odds. Ten cent is uh, if you are you in a. We could go look at Louis, Louisiana or any of the uh, six other states. I think there's seven now with Iowa that um, and the returns and see if you can find how you, know, that you can often see how many 10 cent machines are on like the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, and then that's just a matter of going to 40 casinos and find, finding all 120 or so of those. So um, let's 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 do that. Let's you know, I'm trying to make sure I do more demonstrations. So let's. Let's, um, oops, no, I had a stream. There we go. Okay. So let's go to Nevada. Um, I have articles in every state. And so if you go to professorslots.com slash your two letter postal designation, I will do that for NB or Nevada. We will go to my article for Nevada. And it's all, all these articles have the same structure, introduction, relevant legal statutes, uh, whether or not private ownership is allowed in that state, gaming control board, and then and, and casinos. And then in Nevada, it's like scroll, 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 scroll. And I put them in by city and I even have a map on all these um, articles. 
uh, and what the next state over is. And then uh, here it's uh, uh, border towns uh, with the different borders around Nevada. There's a, a Facebook group, which I won't show you because it's private and you have to join uh, if you care to. Uh, and then we get to the last section before summary, which is theoretical payouts and return statistics. And we can look under uh, stats and statistics uh, and click right there and you can see the latest. So October 2022 uh, is the most recent. What the heck is going on? Well, I guess November won't be out for like two weeks. Okay, all right, uh, imminent. November 2022 is imminent. So we go to this um, a mini page report and they're all structured the same. Uh, and this is the directory, the broken down by area. Uh, and there's several, usually a county, but some counties are broken down by um, uh, areas in the county, like Las Vegas Strip, down North Las Vegas, um, and there is even downtown Las Vegas and our pretty overall. Uh, it starts always starts with the statewide. So let's go to uh, Las Vegas Strip, all locations, not the casinos that have different revenue ranges, but all locations on page 12. Boom, boom, boom. Go down to page 12. And showing that good and eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so this is if you haven't seen this before let me um kind of like make it a little bigger here showing this pdf uh, oops uh, 12 page 12 okay so let me show you how this works this is clark county las vegas strip area all locations and if you break it down i have videos on this um, but we'll just do it quickly now and if we uh, i highlight i'll highlight this whole page then i'll break it down for you so it's broken up into sections uh, over here on the far right is the returns averaged over the last 12 months which can be useful to see if there's been sudden changes within this, line, this month, uh, but it's also broken down for the last three months average. And then there's the current month, which is probably where we're going to stick. Uh, then we're going to, uh, you know, if you're interested in table games, there's table games. If you're interested in uh, sports betting and racing and um, uh, paramutual, that's there. Uh, but we are interested in slot machines here. So again, I, I provide all this detail in some of the other art, um, uh, videos that I've uploaded. And, and so now we are looking at win percent. So this is the different denominations. Multi-denomination is any multi-denomination. Uh, and there are 16,000 of those on the Las Vegas Strip. So I'm going to go point out there's a number of units, number of locations, and the win percent. This is the win percent for the casino. Uh, most people would call it hold percent, but the casino, but the gaming industry works for the casinos, <laughs> and so sort of, uh, and so they're reporting, they're providing reports to the casinos rather than to the players. Uh, so this is what the casino wins. So the smaller the number, the better the player win percent. Uh, so let's move back down here. Uh, one cent machines are at 38 casinos on the Las Vegas Strip. Oh, uh, last time I checked, there was 40 casinos on the Las Vegas Strip. One of them closed. Look at that. Or was not open in October. Uh, 13,000. Uh, it isn't casino by casino, so figuring out which casino closed is a little bit of a trick um, but, and too much to talk about now. But one cent, there's 13,000 of those at 38 casinos. Uh, one casino does not have it. Um, multi-denomination is at all the casinos, and there's 16,000 of those. What we're seeing is a lot more multi-denomination machines uh, than penny machines, but those are still a lot. Uh, and on the Las Vegas Strip, there's not any 10-cent machines, 10-cent denomination machines. And isn't that interesting? Uh, so that's how few there are of them. But what we could do, and one thing I'll just jump to is to the downtown, uh, that's downtown for the limited range. And so there's a, we want all locations downtown. Let me see if I can make that appear just where I had it. Come on, there we go. Okay. And so this is downtown. And again, no pin, no dime machines. Wow. Uh, yeah. And you can see how 
much money that they make in slot machines uh, uh, for for penny machines. Uh, just you know, it's and and hundred and the hundred dollar machines are are terrible. Here, um, uh, understand that people have been uh, losing money, losing money, but on average over twelve months, they haven't been losing as badly. Uh, so they're really taking a lot of money uh, for people playing hundred dollar machines. And this is all stuff that if you go to Las Vegas, you want to take a look at and just get some guidance on the baseline. Uh, and that's um, so I just wanted to talk about that. If you are in Louisiana or Mississippi, you can um, look and see what the denomination is for uh, 10 cents. And um, Colorado has that. Iowa has that. Uh, yeah. see um, there's a lot of conversations back and forth magpie is talking to flip uh, who, and she says i'm noticing a cadence where i get a repeat bonus within a certain number of amount of spins on a specific denomination lightning link and dragon link um, magpie is, is is really digging into stuff uh, and that's great um, and Rob, roberto says i got up and left after winning a ten thousand dollar grand progressive hey yay Congratulations. And I was walking out. Some lady ran up to me and said, you should have stayed. Some guy just sat down and won a progressive again. Um, it, if you are, you know, the, the worry here is you're headed out the door and maybe you needed to do that. And so, yes, go right ahead. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and yes, please. Uh, if you uh, please like the video uh, so that uh, it draws attention to the central server, the YouTube central server, and uh, that would be awesome. Uh, great. Um, uh, um, and, and Greenwood UK says, would you say the slots in the US are the same as the UK uh, in the European Union as in the way they are programmed, not necessarily laws on them? Right. I mean, in, even in the United States, there's so many different laws. And, and I've read all of them in the US. And it's just like, uh, there's kind of like sort of similar in some ways. And it's uh, you know, I, I tell people in the US, you know, go read it. Um, you know, read my article summarizing uh, those things. Uh, so I don't really see um, Australia, New Zealand, uh, European Union, UK uh, uh, having, you know, really different laws. It's no more than the U.S. states. There's no different than the U.S. states having wildly varying gaming regulations. Uh, these are state um decided by the state. So uh, the, what I would say is the programming, there's a couple of things going on uh, with UK and, and, and European Union that you probably know. One thing, the casinos are smaller. Um, you know, here, half the casinos, uh, 500 of them are, in, on, are tribal casinos, most of them are on reservations. So there's just land forever. Uh, um, not exactly farmable land, but uh, because they got the worst land, but uh, they can certainly put up a casino and expand, expand, expand. But then you have uh, that casino right there, Atlantis Casino in Reno, Nevada, and all they can do is go up because they only have so much land uh, and they had to build a skyscraper. And then they have so far, I think the last the three towers and the last one was 30 years ago. So, um, in the United States, it seems like a lot of casinos, uh, uh, many of the casinos uh, are resorts. You know, they're big. Uh, and when you're big, you can afford to have the latest technologies and you can afford to pay consultants uh, and, and get all the services from the slot machine manufacturers. Uh, and I don't see that as much of that in the European Union or the UK, or Australia and New Zealand. Um, um, Melbourne, Australia is, uh, uh, you know, the exception. But you know, it's there's there's a lot of small places in the United States too. Sometimes I call them casinos. You know, they're they're convenience stores with uh, petrol uh, and um, and and a few machines, five machines, and sometimes they're legal, and sometimes many times they're just totally illegal. Uh, and but nobody's the the state police are not enforcing removing them, or if they do remove them, they remove them after five days and the, 
the company made more than, you know, double what they cost. And so they just get more. In fact, probably have them in a back room someplace where they just wheel them out that, you know, after this, the state police leave. So um, if you are, if, so if you're in a large casino, there are a lot like the U S my summary here is if you are in a, decent sized casino with maybe 50 or more machines, they can afford to have the programming. They can afford to do everything that the, you know, 1500 uh, machine casinos in the United States has. Uh, but if they have less than that, then they don't have make enough money to get those bells and whistles. And that's, that's where you can kind of draw the line right around 50 machines. Yeah. Uh, and, and Shane, uh, yes. Uh, I will provide that link again. Uh, this is, uh, I'll show it to you and I will uh, put it in the live chat. And that is end of stream. Yep, that's there across the top and be careful clicking on it in the, um, uh, in the live chat, it might kick you out, might send you to another location. Uh, and, and no longer be in a live stream. So I, I put the link there. Um, yeah, uh, I, I probably should check to make sure I didn't get to like 20 members. Uh, uh, and I will quickly check and turn off registration because there really is. Um, uh, let's see. Um, just want to make sure that I don't have uh, too many coming in. Uh, I don't think it's, uh, yeah, a, a thank you for everybody who signed up, got a couple, uh, and uh, but it is not exceeding the, um, uh, the 20 members yet. So uh, uh, good to see that, um, it's encouraging. Uh, and, <laughs> and Derek, um, have I used my five spin method at Soaring Eagle in Michigan? Absolutely. Uh, I have, uh, and um, that was Mother's Day the year before last, 2021. I went with one of my moderators who doesn't live too far away. I am from Michigan, and I was visiting, and I took her up there. Uh, Paula's here. <laughs> went with Paula, and Paula did better than me because I, uh, you know, I don't go for personal uh, reasons to casinos. I, I, I used to, and I'd like to, um, but the job takes precedent. I'm answering questions for people. And I did go there. I did. It was um, kind of, uh, uh, it's my family's favorite casino. Soaring Eagle in Michigan is my family's favorite casino. And so I wanted to check it out for my aunt and for my dad and for my friend Paula. Uh, and I did not write up an article, which I try to be pretty serious about, but it's extra work. Uh, and um, so now I just can just say, uh, if you have, let's see, I can probably bring that up uh, pretty fast. Um, and one of the things I saw at, um, let's see, where is it? I should be able to spot it if I say Soaring Eagle. <laughs> casino map, casino map. Where were you at? Where are you at? So I have something to show you. It's an intersection, a diagram of the intersection at Soaring Eagle. Uh, and I'm trying to find my figure that I have for that. Oh, where are you at? Where are you at? Um, uh, hopefully I can just find it and bring it up for you. Um, well, anyway, I'll, I'll just verbally say it and I'll, I'll try to keep an eye on it uh, and, and, and scroll through my many, many, many files here. Uh, okay, so is that it? Ah. Um, uh, well, so <laughs> I, I, I will share this much, which is um, uh, going to soar, uh, Soaring Eagle. I will share, present, stop screen, present. Uh, stop screen. Come on, come on, come on. I'm sorry, it's taking so long. I, 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 wa I want to uh, uh, show you that. So yes, I have been there. <laughs> this is me there <laughs> uh, with a, with a hand pay, and and so that's uh, that's 
by proof. But um, uh, so I went and I did the five spin method. What I did was randomly, I was working on a method of improvement for the five spin method, which is a lot, there's a lot of goodness to the five spin method. Um, newbies just go ahead and use it, but it doesn't take, you know, it's zero to 60 seconds, um, zero to 60 miles per hour uh, is how fast you learn about the other things you can do as an assessment tool, casino assessment tool, slot machine assessment tool. Um, and, and so I, wanted to I, was, I I wanted to just pick random machines to see how I would do so I can compare and that's what I'm uh, doing in my demo videos lately at Atlantis um, I just want to show how is it a good return and it, it was actually a loss um, I won on like 18 19 of my of the 20 machines I got a taste but I didn't win a higher return. Now, I talked and talked and talked to Paula on the drive there over from the Flint area, uh, and she and she heard me and she took a hundred dollars and she made a profit. She made over a hundred dollars um, uh, uh, by playing the, by using the five spin method on only end of row machines. So I lost money and she made money by making that small change to the the five spin method. And that's what I would recommend to you is play only end of row machines. So there's an intersection. It's the main intersection. It's um, a kind of to when you walk in, it's on the uh, right hand side. It's a big aisle. Uh, there's food court and stuff over, over on the side, but you go down that main aisle and you come across the second largest aisle at a right angle. And that intersection has a bunch of machines pointed at the intersection. There's like one machine that's tall, it's on one side and there's three in a, four in a row on the other side. And I basically, you know, those are, if there's, it's highly visible areas and those are the ones that you can win on. Um, and I know it's wrong to say I almost won a major, but I felt like if I had been playing uh, longer, uh, there was four machines that were facing the intersection for people walking towards the exit so show people a win and the first machine dead, second machine dead, third machine dead. This is before I knew my, my tough love method, but basically I was like making 10 bets and going, no. Uh, and I went to the last one uh, on that and it was just like bonus round at the bonus round at the bonus round. So it had obviously been set up to win. So go to that intersection, play each machine, minimum bets, maybe 10, uh, and it you it will jump out at you if there's a winning machine. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, that's what worked for me at uh, Soaring Eagle. Uh, <laughs> Kitty sighting. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right there. Yeah, Eddie's looking up. Hey, Hetty. <laughs> uh, and they have a new cat toy. See, can I maybe move out of the way? Oh yeah, there's a second kitty. There yeah, the two are. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're they're really you know wigging out earlier, and now they're calmer. Um, uh, and Professor from cyber says uh i heard that if you do low percentage machines first to work your way up to bigger machines is that the best way to make money, more money of low percent machines uh you're wasting your money on low percentage machines uh <laughs> and and you don't know if they're low percentage machines uh unless you play them or you watch other people play them. Uh, if nobody ever wins on a machine, you might be talking. You might be trying to talk about volatility, uh, which is just like this abused notion uh, by uh, you know other slots channels. Uh, they like that word because it's a beautiful word, and they sound smart using it. And that's everything. And they're misusing a statistical concept, um, which doesn't sound smart if you know what volatility means. But in any case, um, play winning machines, please. Yeah. Uh, question from Mobe. Good idea is always to is to 
good idea to always do five to 10 backup spins. Remember you slot it's a winning machine. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you get a win on the machine, it was either a lightning strike or set the win, which is it. And when you walk up to a machine, you haven't won on, you don't have any information about whether it's a winner or not, but if you get a win, that's a big, big clue. It's a worth investing some spins, but I don't want you to like stay and spend all your money because the biggest problem slots enthusiasts have is, is just like, you know, giving it all back, leaving with their winnings. And if you have anything like that, get out. But if you feel like you can make 10 spins and then leave, if you're capable of doing that, I'm, I'm sincerely, you know, I worry about people. Uh, and if you can do that, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Backup spins. Yeah. Um, but not if you put it all back in thinking you're going to, you know, chasing wins. That's that's something to be avoided. Okay. Uh, Flip has another question. Recently started placing higher bets since available bankroll has increased. Yeah. It appears the machine responds differently by giving better or more frequent wins. Thoughts? They can. Uh, it isn't. Um, so what you're doing is combining my strategies and your, uh, as we as I'll talk about in that course, the new the new Slots Labs course. How do you grow? You know, once you've um, you can do more, but um, you have to sort of keep records to see if you're doing better with higher bets. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, you can't, as you know, as you know, but others may not, um, you can't count number of hand pays. You have to look at your, your profit for the trip. And, you know, if you go to more than one casino, you sort by that, by casino and you track, how are you doing? Because how we feel about it, um, can get in the way from the data, uh, uh, you know, be subjective and not objective, like our data. Uh, so, uh, yes, every denomination has a different return, uh, player win percent, theoretical payout setting, every denomination. It isn't necessarily better, but it isn't necessarily worse either. When I looked at the six states at the time that had, um, uh, by, that had slot machine denomination, I looked for the best return, which denomination had the best return according to the state averages for that for that casino for that area, uh, and what ha what I saw was half the time it was one of the high limit denominations, and the other half the time it was one of the low limit de denominations. So really, what we're talking about here is finding which denomination has the best return at your casino. Now, if you go, if you play a, you know, $25 denomination machine uh, in, at your casino and you're doing well, uh, you might say, well, I'm only getting a 30% profit, but 30% from a $20, $25 machine is a lot of money. Yet, if you play a penny machine, uh, you might find that you have a 50% profit. But you're like, well, at 50% is just a fraction of what I'm making at 30%. Right. Uh, and, and so this is the, this, you know, when you begin to win, these are the thoughts that, that, that you have, you know, uh, people, a lot of people are losing and that's why casinos are able to be open because uh, they, they take people's money. Uh, but if, once you start winning, you have to, you have to sort through this. And this is, this is not discussed in my current class of 30 days to play slot smarter and win because it's beyond the topic. I was trying to help newbies just get a grounding, a baseline. And, you know, you need to all know all this stuff and strategies are mentioned. And only one of them is combining strategies. But so that's the second course is needed, um, to address exactly what you're seeing. And I hope everybody else is reading your comments. Yeah. Uh, Texas Tootsie is um, here. Uh, um, she's a moderator. She says, I, I'm here, but I can't get my union to work on my phone. Uh, you have a union? <laughs> Sorry, I know. You, you. It's a typo. Uh, did you hear about the guy who invented, um, did you hear about the guy who invented uh, autocorrect? Uh, he passed away. 
maybe a restaurant. Uh, uh, Margaret uh, asked the question, Mar uh, Magpie 11 asked the question, I am looking for the best record keeping method of 2023 while in the casino. Anyone know of an app where you can take a picture and attach notes to that entry? Um, I used to have something uh, that was available. It was a, a product that was coming out. I can, it was many years ago, uh, 10, 10, 15 years ago. I'm sure there's something like that. Um, the, we, 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 we talk, Margaret, and, um, there's something called click up, which is a sort of a process flow. Uh, and then there's Miro M U R O. I think it's uh, spelled. And those are apps that you can get. And there's, um, you know, it's basically tracking progress flow and has the options that you're looking for. It's, it's overkill, it's a lot more. But this is the sort of thing when, you know, like Flip uh, made $28,000 this morning, you know, if you wanna spend $500 on a course, $500 on, on, on an app that is just like for marketers or something, this can be, uh, you know, a great way to, to uh, do what you're trying to do. You're, you're at the front of the class, Magpie. I know you've been a fan and a member for many years, and we've been talking for like oh, a year now, and you are just working hard, which is great to see. Uh, question from Roberto. Uh, Miro and ClickUp, uh, Magpie 11. Uh, it seems like after a slot machine has been added over five to 10 minutes after I have lost big on a machine, it pays out very nicely for someone. Is that a, a stackable reset? Um, yes, yes, exactly. And and so, you know, when you find something like that at your casino, um, remember that you found it at your casino, it doesn't necessarily exist at another casino. Uh, so, you know, everybody is listening should be like asking the question, which casino are we talking about here? Because then you can just, sit for 15 minutes and if you win if you become that next person then you can see how much you win and then decide was it worth waiting 15 minutes and just checking messages yeah uh yeah yeah uh and uh cyber wolf um says in the city of Northfield Casino, I'm just curious why the casino is switching all new machines in their casino and getting rid of the older ones. Um, this is a trend right now. What's happening is last year they did not do it. And the year before, they did not do this. Um, uh, and uh, if Chris H is on the phone, I got your uh, donation the other day. Uh, um, so where is that? Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, uh, somebody he, he sent me a message, but I will uh, respond to you later as well as here if you're not here. So yes, Northfield, MGM Northfield, Ohio. Uh, the casinos are, are switching out, as you had said, switching out new machines in the casino and getting rid of the older machines. What's happening is last year they didn't do that because they were just completely startled by 2020's closing of all casinos on short notice because the governor said close uh, facilities over 300 people uh, and just shut down. You know, they might have had a day's notice, if that hours maybe when they shut down for three months and then that 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 was terrifying to casinos to the casino executives because you know they hadn't prepared to set any money aside um, they hadn't had a chance to save and so you can see in some of the returns uh, there you know they had a short opportunity perhaps they had insight with the governor and maybe they got a and sorting of a, a week or something and you can see the kind of responses and the return statistics for like ohio just before no, no data came in for two three months and uh and i, I would show you you can see my reports uh, etc um and i don't want to i want to keep talking here and that necessarily dig through my old reports um or my current reports uh so yes they 
they were so scared by that, that the accountants were just like, stop spending money. Um, there's Legends Bay, which I got permission to record at on Wednesday. <laughs> I've been working on that. Uh, and they are a brand new casino. First one that's opened in 30 years that was just built from the ground up uh, in Reno, actually Sparks next to Reno, uh, one big town. And uh, uh they, they also wanted to put in a hotel and they were like, well, we're half done in the casino. We, our investors holding company wants to proceed, but maybe we could just not build a hotel. Cause did we really need a hotel? You know, so the, all these casinos throughout the, uh, uh, you know, in the United States everywhere, um, got just scared, uh, uh, down to the, you know, the, executives went gray, you know, uh, in 2020. And then by 2021, they were making money back, you know, record revenues last year and this year, record revenues. And they were like, not good enough. I, I, I want, we want to make our money back. Okay. They made their money back. Okay. Not good enough. We want to make our money back again. 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X, 6X. Want to make our money back. And so they did. And so last year, slot managers were like, we've got broken machines. We've got old machines. What, you know, we'd love to get new machines. And they're like, no, no, we're still making 6X our, our money back. We're, that's, that's our focus. You know, that, that was a scary thing. You know, and, 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 and now, late 2022, slots managers are like, hey, what about that hotel? Hey, what about that expansion? What about that building that we're going to build? And they're like, nope, still not going to do it but we'll let you buy a few slot machines at $20,000 each, but you're not getting the multi-million dollar hotel, but you'll start getting new machines in. And that's basically what's taken three years to accomplish. 2020, scared, do nothing. 2021, make the money back, spend as little as possible, even if it hurts business, doesn't matter. And then this year, towards the end, okay, We'll let you do a few things. So next year, um, I'm working on an article that will be 2023 trends. And one of them is next year, the, the next year, the coffers open because I'll have two years of record revenue. And they're going to be like, we don't feel quite as scared as we did. So now we're going to be like making buildings, adding buildings, uh, expanding that way because they're three years behind in construction. Anything that they had wanted to do is, you know, Pennsylvania, uh, it, it was, uh, you know, 2015, uh, they, they got approval for casinos, got approval to have a separate satellite. They call it satellite casino within a few miles of them, uh, that they could put up and they were, you know, planning it and doing it, uh, <laughs> trying to do it and putting it together. And then the pandemic happened and they're like, Whoop! Nope, 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 nope. And that's a huge expansion, expansion that has been delayed in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so I think this is another Northfield question. MGM Northfield in Ohio. Yep. Uh, guy was winning a slot machine with a pull handle and kept winning and winning and winning. And another guy came after he left and did win. Yeah. Yeah. And this is all, you know, I wish people would see this. Um, and it's part of the demonstrations that I'd like to get to. I have all my uh, strategies to demonstrate, and I'm just trying to do them one by one, but it's only been a couple of weeks. Wednesday was my most recent acceptance uh, permission. So, yeah, I want to show everybody this because it's so startling. It really does instruct people on, on what's possible because there's all these ideas out there that are just like, what? Huh? You know, and uh, yeah. That machine was set to win. When I won in 2004 at Prairie Metal on the machine that was facing the bar, second from the end of the row, $1 machine, and I got 13 hand bays uh, in six days, I was shocked. But I kept it together. I kept it together. Um, it was the seventh day that I went in, put my usual $500 in, and it was gone in five minutes. I was not able to keep it together for that because I was playing a winning machine. The winning machines exist. 
It's just a matter of some, you know, somebody did it. I wasn't lucky. It wasn't getting hit by lightning 13 times in, in like 14 hours a total for those six days. You know, it, it wasn't luck. Somebody had said it that way. And I was like, that's amazing. And then I went in that seventh day and they had turned it off. Turned the winning off. And I was like, <laughs> and that day professor slots was born it took me 10 years of figuring stuff out and and working on my career and and that was just like i wow uh nope uh no worries roberto i have permission to record uh i it is a note on my player's card um i've got a letter from the corporate uh slot director of uh of the, the corporate Director of Slot Management, uh, and this is at Monarch Rewards, which I believe means I can also go to Blackhawk, Colorado, at the Monarch there. I believe that's the other casino they own. I have permission at Legends Bay, uh, and they said I also have permission, therefore, in Carson City at the, cas the casino they own there. I applied. I haven't heard back, and I, I don't know that I will. I applied at El Dorado at the Row. Uh, and I, I said, so if I were to get permission, uh, they had to they kick it upstairs. Uh, and I didn't realize how far upstairs. And, and I said, so if you, um, if I get permission, will I be able to go to Silver Legacy across the street and Circus Circus down the block? Because those are also Caesar properties. And he says, well, um, actually, you, we are pumping, bumping it up to corporate. So if you get permission, you'll be getting permission at, to record at Caesar's properties. You know, all of them. <laughs> and I, I, I kept my cool. I kept my cool. And I'm like, well, I, let's hope I get it. <laughs> and, and we will see. Because that's a lot of work. Um, and, and But we'll see. Yeah. Uh, and Bruce says, um, hi, Bruce. Good to see you. Uh, for past week in Las Vegas, have been doing a contrarian slot strategy, avoiding high limits as they've tight and seeking high major penny machines and play maximum bet. Won a hand pay, big hand pay yesterday. Well done. Uh, yeah, work the system, work the system. But these concepts, <clears throat> you know, are, are, are specific to you and your casino and your situation. You have many to go by, many to go to in Las Vegas. It's, it's, it's not that everybody else can do it, it can do it. Uh, it's, it's like you, you need to dig into it. And my course that I have offered uh, is, is basically setting you up to be able to do that, but it isn't really explaining it. It's just the natural next step. And so I'm now providing a course, which is the natural next step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serenity, uh, a woman playing next to me. I'm getting more and more excited as we continue this live stream. Uh, a woman playing next to me at Mirage in Vegas showed uh, $9,000 in free play. We were chatting and I noticed the amount. Wow, she told me she'd won a slot tournament uh, with a prize to free play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, um, I have uh, seen, uh, uh, I have one hand pay. I think my biggest amount was was in a drawing, I got $2,000 and I did not get a hand pay when I spent that $2,000, but I did win $1,980 in less than W2G jackpots. So I feel good about that. Uh, and and uh, Lady Spitfire, uh, Slots of Fun is asking you a question you uh, that says, I live in Georgia, UG, uh, and um, uh, Oh, uh, I wanted to say, Serena, see, uh, slots, free slots play from a slot tournament actually has an expiration date, and you can lose it if you don't like spend it in a month. You need to ask the rules um, about how long before you need to spend it. But mostly, the, when I went to the promotions counter, they did not know. So it can go a month because I took one for the team. Yeah. Uh, so Lady Spitfire says, I live in Georgia. Uh, yes, no slot machines in Georgia. There is or was a gambling boat uh, out to international waters from, um, what's the name of that port? It starts with a B. Um, and uh, we, if you go to, well, in any case, um, well, okay, let's do that. If we go to uh present and share invite leave present 
share screen go to that this okay so we go to professorslots.com and we type professorslots.com slash ga you can do this for any state territory or u.s the federal district in the united states uh and you can see what's up there's uh there the Many of them have a video, many of them have a podcast uh, segment on them, and there's a map down here, and uh, yes, Brunswick, right, the Emerald Princess 2, uh, and if you're not anywhere near there, that's a long ways away, this is a gambling boat, I don't recommend gambling boats, this is not to international destinations, it's just three miles out, or rather nautical miles, something like 12, it, it, it goes out to international waters, um, and where exactly is the international waters, well, it's it's depends how you measure it and if you listen to the navy's description and stuff uh, it's fascinating all this stuff is fascinating i just find it's great um and if you you have you know this is georgia so you've got florida down here but down in miami uh and the tribal casinos are all in southern florida you've got um the, you know tennessee up here tennessee doesn't have any um, except of course georgia and tennessee have gas stations with illegal slot machines. And if you have any sort of problem, you talk to the clerk. People have called me and called me and called me. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, you know, there was an error in the machine. I got my receipt, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, and no, sorry, you talk to the clerk at the store. And if they don't give you what you need, you talk to the manager. There's no state gaming commission in Tennessee or Georgia to go to. You, there are no protections in place. Yeah. So a uh, question from Chris H. Hey, Chris, uh, would I need to have separate strategies between my casinos, Cachada, Mescala, Regulars area, and their non-smoking area? Uh, no. No. Uh, well, Cachada is a tribal casino that only, as far as I can tell when I was there, and I'm going again next weekend, uh, uh, has only class three machines, Nescala has class two machines. And so those take two entirely different strategies. Most of my strategies um, apply to class three machines, except for the five spin method, because it has a great loss limit, preserving gains money management technique. Nescala, uh, Nescala is, is, is class bingo games. And I have a, uh, thanks to Flip, I now have flight airfare, uh, to uh, thank you for the donation again, Flip. That was just amazing to wake up to see a $300 donation. That is going to be used to come to Windstar and hopefully Chuck Dow Durant. Uh, I need to set up the flight arrangements for about two weeks, two or three weeks from now, uh, and, and not the weekend of Christmas, but I guess two weeks from now. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll be able to shake your hand. Uh, and uh, I, I have a bingo machine strategy, uh, but, uh, and I share when I can with people who are interested in my paid consultations, but I'm hoping to write up an article, but there's, I have questions and, and I need to uh, actually try to finding a casino near me in Ohio. Uh, and even here has been hard to find um, a, a class two machines. Um, I'm, so I'm going and solving that problem. But yes, different strategies, but not between their whatever you're using outside of the area and inside of the non-smoking area. Uh, here in, in in Nevada, it seems to be the main area is the smoking area, and there's a small non uh, non-smoking area. And then in Ohio, it's the opposite. Uh, and so, uh, one thing you can watch for is the location, location, location method. Uh, in the small room, uh, uh, those are pretty tight. Uh, but it's actually kind of, it still works. It's just that you aren't, you know, walk up the aisle, end of row, you know, you walk up the center aisle and there's rows of machines. Do you, and maybe if you could see through the door, you know, that sort of thing works. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So <laughs> I forgot to have breakfast. I'm hungry. Okay. Um, uh, uh, DK Carroll, uh, I play a lot and love doing it, but I just haven't hit a jackpot in a while. Your advice to hit more jackpots. Um, you can go to my website and you can uh, see my discussion about uh, what you can do to win a hand pay. Uh, and uh, that way I'll just reference this. Let me show that to you Oops, at the stream. There we go. If you go to, I think it's under uh, how to right here. Um, under learn to win at slot machines, there's a how-to button. And uh, 
Let's see, do I have it here? Uh, no, it's actually under strategies. Okay, let me back up and go under strategies. Getting a hand paid jackpot with a small $100 bankroll. And there you go. That's what you need. Uh, Lady Spitfire says in Georgia, you have uh, Ding Dings, uh, Murphy, North Carolina is only about three hours away, though. Uh, and and uh, Slots of Fun, is uh, that's a regular casino for him, Murphy. Uh, and so that's uh, who you might want to listen to. Uh, and Chuck has great advice, too. One of my oldest fans and friend, uh, he drove me <laughs> to Nevada from, from Missouri, where I picked him up after a six-hour drive. And he drove the last 26 hours. <laughs> we've shared some experiences cats in the back um and he didn't tell me until we got to nevada that he had a slight allergy to cats so <laughs> what a tripper uh so chuck says uh, do something different uh try a different time or a different course take the course yeah all that yeah uh <laughs> Uh, one of my other uh, moderators. This is why I have more than one moderator. Uh, oh, I, none, of my, none of my reminders went off. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so I'm going to quickly check through uh, to see. <laughs> uh, it's okay, to, uh, Texas Tootsie. It got me to say one of my favorite jokes. Um, uh, and I'm going to quickly check through for hashtag question. Um, uh, that is a good question, Lady Spitfire. That is something that I uh, want to try. Uh, this opens up, uh, it helps people not having to get up from a machine and moving. They can just go to a different machine. I haven't checked um, on those machines. Uh, I finally have a bunch of casinos where the five spin method works like five miles away. So that is one of the demonstrations I want to film. But you can check pretty easily yourself with minimum bets. And it should all be very obvious. Yeah, if it works the first time on the first game you play on that machine, but it doesn't work on the second machine on the second game on that machine, and you do that a couple of times, there you go. Uh, that's the answer. Uh, yeah, I want to demonstrate that, find out the answer, and, and tell you. But I don't know the answer yet. Uh, let's see. Let's check with see if there's any more hashtag questions. Um, lots of great comments. Wow. Uh, well done. A uh, question from Leslie from Oregon. Uh, in your slots lab, if you miss a class, right, uh, is, it will be recorded. Yes. So allow people to catch up. Yes. Even more than that. Um, we all learn from working from home with the pandemic that there are now tools available where um, it's, the you know, it'll be It'll be something we, we need to we need to be more flexible about working uh, conditions and some of that technology I'll be pulling into slots labs and uh, we will figure it out. But but the messaging system will be it will not be restricted. If you are not able to meet on Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern, not a problem. The recording will be available and you'll still be doing the homework and it'll all still be very connected, very connected. Yeah, uh, and that is, that is one of the things I'm working out here. So yeah, uh, but that that will help. Um, Magpie says that she signed up for the uh, slots labs uh, and wants to hear if others have. I've, I've I'm not really looking at my email while all this is happening, uh, but we've uh, I think we're up to like two more, uh, and uh, that would be that, that's that's great. Okay, let's see. And future uh, comments on the that tournament winners for free play expired in a month. Okay, yep, good, good, good. Uh, leaving the next day and wasn't returning to Las Vegas anytime soon. Hadn't even considered higher dynamic machines until I mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. Lose, use it or lose it. And <laughs> uh, yes, uh, <laughs> Chuck. Chuck signed up immediately. Um, and at the, at, it's so early that I, I think all I had done was like the day after or hours after I had decided on the amount <laughs> and set up a pay method. And I was like, but there's all this. Oh, no, you're good, John. You know, let me sign up now. OK, uh, yes. Um, that's how uh, top hands. Yeah. Um, so I'm checking through the questions. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I saw your uh, note, Leslie, and I will answer it. Uh, don't really answer emails during live streams. There's a couple of coming in, and I'll check them uh, and uh, get you an answer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, why Michelle says I started tracking my hand pays last November. I won a little over $81,000 in a year. It's the most I've ever won. Congratulations. Uh, well done. Well done. Um, and so... Okay, <laughs> that's it. My voice is starting to give out. Uh, what a great live stream. You'll see me in my next live stream on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern or in the Pacific time zone, 4 p.m. In the meantime, I highly recommend that you watch this video demonstrating my tough love approach in Atlantis Casino. Bye. That's the end of another episode of the Professor Slots podcast. Thanks so much for listening. I plan to have the next episode come out very soon for you, where I'll have more amazing content for the show. Until the next episode, have fun, be safe, and make good choices. Bye.